Welcome back to Monarch Smart TV everyone and if this your first time here go ahead and hit that subscribe button for your boy and turn them notification bell and put them on all so you do not miss a banger because we bring the facts we bring the truth we bring the stuff to you that nobody else want to show you so if you're ready strap on your seatbelt and get your popcorn get your chips Get your drinks and get your split. Get whatever you need to get comfy. Relax. Put your legs up and check out these bangers. North Haven police are putting out a warning. Thieves are tracking deliveries with expensive electronic devices. And what? it's not just happening in that town tonight. News 8's Brittany Schaefer spoke with a homeowner who was hit several times. Unreal. I couldn't believe it. I was flabbergasted. Thieves target a brand new iPad and iPhone delivered to Ian Sancho's front porch twice in just two days. Both incidents caught on camera. The two items, it was over three three thousand dollars. It's very shocking. I was because this never happened in this neighborhood. Before. The first happened exactly one week. Yo, hold up, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, so this is the first delivery. He said that happened a week ago. Yo, but hold up. Let's 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 let, 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 let's dig deep into what's going on here. This is crazy and insane, ladies and gentlemen. Really, it is. You heard what um they said? They said thieves are targeting expensive packages with an electronic device. What? What? I never heard of this before. What what's going on, people? This the first time I'm hearing about you could get some type of electronic device and target these packages that's coming in. How that work? Where that electronic device come from? And how yo, what's going on? Anybody that knows anything about this um type of gadget, if you heard about it, if you ever had it, if you know anything about it, comment down below. If you're watching this video, comment down below. Like the video too. Share, share this video out. This is crazy and insane, ladies and gentlemen. So you hear what's going on? I know everybody that's watching this video do order some type of package every now and then offline no matter what company it is so this is relating to you everybody that's watching this this video relates to you share this video out let your family and friends and everybody knows what's going on thieves have on an electronic device thieves have electronic device that could that knows when your package is coming to you ladies and gentlemen knows the address knows what it is if it's an expensive package stuff of that nature this is crazy and insane i never heard of nothing of this magnitude before this is crazy who made this how could this be legal this is crazy this is and how do how this work how this work how they know i'm i'm getting an iphone or an ipad or a computer or something that's expensive a diamond chain a diamond ring a rolex watch how they know how how can this electronic device knows I don't understand what's going on so this device is breaking into fedex system amazon system ups system this is crazy this is crazy and insane ladies and gentlemen this is crazy yo we could go fedex driver delivered a package and then three minutes after that i saw a gentleman standing over there by the car walked over the, the rocks with a hood over his head picks up the package and left the theft took less than a minute of yo you see that so dude was already waiting on the package he must have one of those electronic device right because he was already there waiting he knew this was going to be an expensive package delivering to this address 
This is crazy. How could this be? Wh who in their right mind would inv invent a electronic device of this nature? If you got the skills to make devices like this, why would you make a criminal device, bro? You don't have to make a device like that to come to be rich. You already got the skills and the technology to build whatever you want. If you could build a device like this, what what you call this? This hacking into the system? That means they could they could build something that probably could hack into bank system. This is crazy, bro. How you hack into FedEx system? And knows exactly what's coming. I don't even know if the delivery people knows exactly what it is. They probably do. This is crazy. But when a package is expensive, don't you got to sign for that? I guess these type of neighborhoods, as you can see, it's a nice neighborhood. They not expecting no type of theft. No type of criminal activities in these neighborhoods. This is crazy though. After speaking to police, Sancho called AT&T to disable the iPhone and iPad and ask for replacements. This time... Whoa, whoa, whoa. So he said he called Apple to disable the iPhone and the, and the iPad? Whoa. So the thief got a iPhone and a iPad? Whoa. Like my man said, $3,000 worth of equipment gone just like that so hold up though these equipment is not activated as yet so my man said he called the company to um to dismantle to do what i don't understand what they just said just now after speaking to police sancho called at&t to disable the iphone and ipad and okay and what ask for replacements okay so he said he called Apple, the company, to disable the phone and the iPad and ask for replacement. So how could they disable it? It ain't even activated yet or nothing. Unless they know some type of number that's in the phone that's, that, that they could dismantle. But I'm saying if you could do that easily, why is these um, these people going after these equipment if you could dis disable it and they can't activate them i don't think that's gonna work for these crooks if they got gadgets that knows when you delivering these these items you think you disabling something in the phone gonna stop them i don't think so they probably already know you could do that and they still coming for these gadgets that is crazy, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know what that disable going to do for my man when he call a company and tell them to disable those stuff. Unless he trying to tell them disable um, his number or whatever. They probably was coming already on, right? Because I know you could call the, the phone company and tell them, yo, I just lost my phone. Do something. And they could turn the phone off and make sure whoever got the phone can't turn it back on something of that nature but these these thieves i don't think that could stop them i don't think nothing of that magnitude could stop them i think they know exactly what to do go inside the phone and take whatever that's inside that phone that's stopping that disable that to occur they probably know how to maneuver all of that and get the phone working back properly and the ipad else they wouldn't be wasting their time going through all this this time sancho made sure he was home during the delivery window but he wasn't the only one waiting there's a gentleman in front of the house with a hood on so as i come downstairs to confront him ask him what he's doing in the neighborhood he says to me oh his car broke down i said where's your car you can't tell me where his car is so as, as he's i'm talking to him he's walking away from me when sancho said he was going to call the police so you hear that so on the replacement one that that he called the company and tell them disable the first one because somebody stole it and the new one he said he was home waiting on it 
and it was already somebody outside waiting on it as well <laughs> that's crazy and that's like two days apart that's two days apart and somebody and that looked like somebody different they must have had those gadgets yo for real for real for real so my man what he walked outside and approaching the thief that's the wrong thing right there my brother you don't want to do that these thieves why would you want to approach them they robbers you don't know if he's strapped or anything of that nature he was not on your property or anything. I don't understand. He says the thief ran and so did Sancho so he could get a look at the suspect's vehicle. He and his neighbor were able to tell police a description in which direction he was going. That's good though. That's good. You know I'm saying you did all that but sometime you might not get that lucky. Sometime the, the thieves or the robbers they might not run. They might just pull out their strap and, and, and do whatever they have to do to make sure their identity, you know what I'm saying, is not revealed. So that was the wrong thing you did. If you feel like somebody was out there waiting on your package, you should have called the police and tell them somebody outside trying to steal your package right now. Can they send somebody over? That's what you should have did. You know what I'm saying? Instead of walking towards the robber to the crook. You don't want to do that. You don't want to put your life at risk over nothing, bro. Over nothing. Don't ever do that again. Shortly after, North Haven police tell us they arrested Heriberto Perez Cabral. The 26-year-old New York man was charged with fourth-degree criminal attempt to commit larceny and was given a $2,500 bond. North Haven police say there have been a rash of similar crimes in the region recently. I spoke to the FedEx company, I spoke to AT&T, and they're telling me it's getting worse. Apparently what they're doing is they're getting the tracking. Yo, you see, I remember, I did a video on this one right here. Where my man snatched it up and, and ran ASAP. Numbers from one of the companies and then they're following oh. the trucks. <laughs> yo, I did a video on this too. This is crazy, yo. Yo, this right here was crazy, ladies and gentlemen. I did a video on this on this robbery right here, this theft. It was two thieves out there waiting on and look the fedex truck is still right there the deliver man is still he just put the package down and two thieves ran towards the the package trying to get it look one of the thieves pulled pulls out a knife ready to cut the other thief from getting that package right there and i heard this package was a iphone so Yo, they probably do right. Because I used to wonder, yo, how they know an expensive package is being delivered. So these fools got them gadgets for real, yo. They knows when expensive item is being delivered. And both of these fools had that gadget. Look, they both of their car door is open. They just hop out their car and run in towards the... This day job right here. This is something they've been doing maybe for a long time. We just getting up on things right now about this electronic gadget that they be using to steal people packages. This is crazy, yo. Make sure you have a camera and make sure you know when your package is coming so you'll be there. In North Haven, I'm Brittany Sheeper. This is crazy, ladies and gentlemen. This is crazy and insane yo i can't believe this so that's how they do it that's how i did not know that they have an electronic device that they use to go around and get people for their iphone their ipads and stuff of that nature that is crazy and insane so y'all hear that right i'm putting y'all up on your p's and q's so if y'all got any type of expensive package that's coming make sure y'all be there you feel me yes sir yes ma'am so you already be safe out there man peace and love and we up out of here